Today I'll show you how to use Oracle Integration Cloud to perform opportunity to order synchronization between Salesforce and NetSuite. In this scenario, a salesperson creates an opportunity in Salesforce. When he marks the status of the opportunity as closed and won, an integration running in Oracle Integration Cloud takes the opportunity, product, and other information from Salesforce and sends it to NetSuite, where a sales order is created for fulfillment. Then, the new sales order ID is sent from NetSuite back to Salesforce, where it's incorporated into the original opportunity. I've logged into Salesforce with my credentials. I'm going to create a new opportunity. I add account information, including the account name, the type, and the lead source. I add opportunity information, including the closing date and the stage. For the purpose of this demo, I'll leave the other fields blank. I save my work. Now I add the product that I want to sell to this customer. I select the quantity I want to sell. The product, the quantity, and the sales amount have been updated. Let's assume I've worked with this customer and we're now ready to close the opportunity. I update the stage to closed and won, and I save it. The moment I save it, the integration that I've defined in Integration Cloud is going to pick up all the information I entered about the account, the product, the pricing, the quantity, and so on. It's going to send that information to NetSuite to create a sales order there. I've created a custom NetSuite sales order ID here in Salesforce. After I refresh the screen, the NetSuite sales order ID is displayed. The ID has come back from NetSuite and been added to the opportunity here in Salesforce.com. Now I'll switch to NetSuite. This is the sales order that got created. The customer I selected is shown. The product I selected and the quantity I entered are shown too. The amount's the same as what was shown in Salesforce. This is the price of the product and this is the total value of the order. We've just seen a bi-directional demo. I created an opportunity in Salesforce.com and updated its status. The information I entered was used to create a sales order in NetSuite and the NetSuite order ID was added to the original opportunity in Salesforce. Let's go to Integration Cloud to see how the integration worked. My demo integration processed its last message just three minutes ago. It received and processed two requests, both of them successfully. I click to display the detail where I can see how each step of the integration ran. The Salesforce adapter received the notification or trigger from Salesforce.com when we saved the opportunity with the status set to closed and won. Then we did a query to get the product and account information from Salesforce.com. We mapped the data and then sent that information to NetSuite through the NetSuite adapter to create an order there. Finally, in the callback that we configured, we mapped the sales ID from NetSuite back to Salesforce.com. And that information was used to update the opportunity in Salesforce with the NetSuite sales order number. Learn more at cloud.oracle.com.